Hey guys, Ray from Lovey RV and Boat. So another installment of our summer 2024 cruising on the BC coast. In the last video, we had arrived at Forward Harbor right in here. There we go. And anchored in this little cove here. So we're gonna, in this video, we're gonna leave there and give you some footage of us puttering out here and then down Sunderland Channel and out into Johnstone Strait. So we had been waiting over here for the winds to die down in here. Um, at times there was gale force winds, uh, 37 to 40 something knots in here. So we kind of hunkered down here until the time was right. And we got into a fairly calm day, got up around seven in the morning, right at uh, sunrise and, uh, went out here and had a good uh, trip up here. Got some nice footage there for you of the scene. And uh, a lot of people will go into this Port Neville. We decided against it because um, it's not very far away. So we went up to this other place that's called Port Harvey up in here. And uh, we decided uh, that would be a good place to hang out. And after that, we'll be able to make our way up into the Broughton Archipelago, which has been our goal for this summer and hang out there for maybe a month or so. But uh, we spent a few days in here, give you a closer look at that. Um, in here, there's this mist islets and it's pretty pretty nice in there. Um, we first tried to anchor in here, um, but someone's building a house here and they had a couple kind of marker boys here. So we couldn't anchor in there. We went out here and kind of anchored but it was kind of exposed to the wind still coming in from the strait. So we decided against that after being there for an hour or so. I actually got our anchor stuck on something in the bottom. This area has had quite a bit of industry over the years, so who knows what, what it was. But um, Anne pulled the boat the other way, opposite of our anchor, and we were able to pull it out. After about 20 minutes, we got her up. And uh, we went down and anchored in here. Um, at the time, we had gone down and scouted this whole bay and come back and anchored here. And while we were fighting with our anchor, we saw the boat that was in here was leaving because it was only around 11 o'clock in the morning. So they were leaving and we were arriving. So we went down and there was nobody in this pretty little bay right here or cove. Nice little islet in here. So got some footage for you from there. Um, interesting place here. They're building uh, actual uh, floating barges. If you can see down here, they build them up here on a barge and they'll build a house for say logging camps or, or whatever resorts. And then I guess they flash them down into the ocean here. So I have a photo of that. And over here, there used to be a Port Harvey um, Marina Resort, but it looks like it's been closed down maybe since about, I think 2018. There's a big estuary here, kind of an interesting place. The wind kind of still blows a bit in here, but uh, the anchorage was pretty good holding. So let's get to the video for you. Hey guys, Ray from Love Your RV and Boat. When last I left you, we had just arrived at Forward Harbor, anchored here in Douglas Bay. So I'll give you a look around this morning. Just woke up, we've been here a few days. This has been the calmest morning. We're kind of waiting in this anchorage for uh, northwest winds to die down in Johnstone Strait because we have to go out there for our next hop towards the Broughtons. I think we're going to wait even a couple more days till it's really calm, but really pretty scene this morning. A lot of the boats come and wait out bad weather out in the strait here until it's a, a good window to go up the next hop. A few boats left this morning, but they're still predicting afternoon winds, so we actually like it here so much we're going to stay until predictions will be winds light in the strait, and then we're going to proceed on northward. Yesterday on the beach, we had a visit by a black bear and it hung out there rolling over giant boulders with ease and eating whatever was under them, usually 
small crabs kind of hunker down under the boulders at low tide. But we got a nice spot here in Douglas Bay, a little bit close to shore here. I think there was also a mink spotted back here. Anyway, stay tuned. Well, it's a little after six in the morning. The sun's just starting to rise and we're ready to head off. We've kind of hunkered down in Forward Harbor here, Douglas Bay, for I think this is our sixth day we've been here. But the winds look favorable to make the move further up Johnstone Strait towards the Broughton Archipelago. Just a pretty scene here this morning. And we're off <laughs> we're in off. our putt putt <laughs> boat. Putt 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 putt. Are you excited? Very excited. Going Johnson up. Strait. Yay! Northern Johnson Strait, first time today. Woohoo! Everybody's taken off today. Yep. It was packed here the other day and counted like 21 boats. And they say it holds 8 to 10 people anchored out deeper. So yeah, nice spot. And we got to see our first bear. <laughs> first bear of the season. Oh, we're making our way down Sunderland Channel. Quite a few boats going. Right around seven in the morning. Looks calm so far. A little bit of fog, but we think it'll probably burn off by the time we get there. Pretty scene though.
Come on, Captain Ann, don't let this guy pass you. <laughs> He's free to go. He's free to go. So we're just coming out of Sutherland, Sunderland Channel and going to enter Johnstone Strait here. I just wanted to show you an interesting uh, couple islands right here. Uh, this one's called York Island, and during the war there was big gun placements on there in case of attack. And then there's one called Fanny Island, a small one that has a weather station on it that we've been uh, getting uh, wind reports and stuff from. Let's go out and show you those islands. Pretty right now, the fog hanging. Yeah, that's York Island. There's a sailboat just about to go by there. And then over this way, not that island, but just a little one. They have a weather uh, station on there. You can get wind reports in this part of Johnstone Strait. So we're going to go up the strait and then duck in here and go to uh, Port Harvey. going past Port Neville. There's an anchorage in there that a lot of people go in there to get out of the wind and waves out here and anchor in there. Supposedly it's not the greatest anchorage. So we're going to keep going and go up into Port Harvey to go check it out.
Well, the sun just rose right around 7 o'clock in the morning here at Port Harvey. Beautiful anchorage. I think these islets are called the mist islets. No one else came last night. Wind blew fairly stiff from the northwest, but then it calmed right down around 10 o'clock at night. It was calm all night. Super calm this morning. We're supposed to have a really nice day. It's going to be about uh, high of about 25 Celsius today, which is high 70s Fahrenheit, I think. There's a pretty scene right there. Let's give you a 360 here. And a view over to the industrial stuff that's going on over there. Anyway, I think we're going to stay here today. Kind of have a bit of a rest day before we head on further. To go down there and check my crab trap. Till next time, Ray from Love Your RV and Boat. Cheers, guys. <laughs>